Greetings ladies and gents, my name is Kimalian and welcome back to Life is Strange. I am back from holiday, if you did not already know that from my To The Moon Let's Play that launched yesterday once again. And now we are back with Life is Strange. Really been looking forward to play this game again ever since I got on holiday. I mean holiday was great. Really looking forward to finish, well at least the first episode of this five episode long game. So, we are here with Chloe. I had to dig through Chloe's crap. I really don't know. I'm gonna pause it for a moment. Wait, I'm gonna use... Uh, what was the button again? There we go. Right, because first we are going to read some stuff and there's a lot to read. Like, really, a lot. Anyway, so... What happened last time... Well, I wanted to talk about what happened last time, but you know what? I'm just gonna read it. I'm just gonna read what happened last time. I did watch the previous episode for myself because I was afraid I would forget things. And somebody just busted the door. I really hope that the microphone... Hello there, my little, little, beautiful little microphone. I really hope you didn't pick up that buzz. But I think my girlfriend will uh, answer the door. So, let's get into it. Once more, welcome back to Life is Strange. I think we are here. More high school drama. Juliet wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything, and since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Juliet told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zack and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and onto her laptop and found that she was indeed lying to her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. Like a weasel? Oh, I love it. What the fuck? No? Oh, what the fluff? What the fluff, apparently. <laughs> what? Once I gave Juliet the proof that Victoria was behind this, I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood, so I had a look so I had a look around to see if I could find out why. I found a home pregnancy test along with a note from Logan and a doctor's appointment. Dana admitted she was pregnant and I realized that all of my friends have troubles that are just as significant as mine. <sighs> I'm starting to get the hang of this whole re rewind thing. I don't want to waste this power, but there has to be a reason it was given to me. So I better learn how to use it right. I started by saving Alyssa from getting a football-fueled headshot. I admit, why is the objective in the way? Why is the objective note in the way? That's really annoying. I admit, I felt amazing just to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. I also saw David Madsen hassling Kate Mars. I couldn't hear everything, but he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point fingers. I got so pissed I went over to stop him from being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a tr stormtrooper. He was an asshole, as usual, but I felt good about what I did and Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her. And I did that without using my rewind power. Right, because I decided here not to rewind, I decided here to stood up for Kate against David. And not take a photograph, because I was afraid that a photograph wouldn't bring the evidence of this. I mean, it's just a photograph and you see two people talking. That's all you can see. If I could, if I could like, videotape it, that would be great. This day keeps getting stranger. Stranger. I don't even believe what I'm writing. And I can't even do a simple task like give, giving Warren back his flash drive without getting into a situation. In this case, though, it turned out half bad and half good. Which I guess is the yin and yang of life. When I met with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott, freaking out all over again. He got all up in my face to accuse me of bullshit. Even though I was scared because I know what he did to do that girl in the bathroom, I was more furious. Then the girl in the bathroom put up in a truck, my former best friend Chloe Price. Right, we've talked about this in the comments and it is really weird that Max did not realize that it was Chloe at the first in the bathroom. And I did not realize either until... I watched the first episode back and actually saw that I saved using my rewind power, uh, the first episode, the second episode, that I used my rewind power to save Chloe. We both looked at each other like, what the fuck? WTF. That's more proper, right? <laughs> you guys can take it. We both looked at each other like, wait. <laughs> we both looked at each other like, WTF. Next thing I knew, I was in her truck as Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock, I was almost paralyzed. Especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front of me. Right. Now Chloe shows up out of the blue to save me. 
With all the bizarro and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck, listening to music and setting at her dashboard bobblehead might be at the top. So I tried to pro process the fact that Chloe and I were two best friends who didn't know each other anymore. She had blue hair, piercings and cool boots and I... I looked like a dork. I didn't know where to start and she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch. So we sat like strangers, at least I had time to catch my breath and realized that in the parking lot melee with Nathan and Warren, my camera got busted up. I didn't care considering everything else going on, but it sucked on top of everything else going on. Yeah, I, I was actually really sad that your your beautiful camera broke down because it's so retro, it's so old, it's really cool. Oh look, we have more people to read about. Warren! I knew if I gave Warren my phone, he would blow it up for science. He wasn't... He wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because he has tons of cool TV shows and films on there. Thank God it wasn't porn. And I am thankful for Warren. He is like a real friend and we share a lot of the same interests. He loves science but he really understands art and appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I can't tell he's just being nice. Warren is a geek, but he definitely lets you know where he stands. I don't think he would ever lie to me. It feels good to have at least one strong ally at the same age here, and he makes me smile. Ah, so nice. And Chloe! Then there's Chloe Price. What do you say to your best friend after five years of silence? After finding out you saved her life in the bathroom? Nothing. I feel so lame for not uh, staying in touch, or even text. I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again. For one thing, she looks so similar but so different. She's all grown up now, but it doesn't seem like she's only one year older than me. I absolutely love her blue hair and punk clothes. I do as well. She looks amazing. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kinda looks like a pirate. <laughs> like a pirate? Oh, that's great. Oh, I love that. Where is your eye patch, Chloe? Where is your eye patch? I would love to see that. Except, <clears throat> Except one who stage dives. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. So is Joyce then the mother of Chloe and the father died but he, she just talked about her step Führer. So she has a stepdad now. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott's shit. I have no idea what's going on between them, but I'm going to find out, no matter what. So yeah, I think Chloe is mixed up with Nathan Prescott and the drugs, apparently. But also, she is frantically looking for this Rachel Amber person. Which is interesting, why is she so dedicated to finding this person? Um, so I think I've read everything again. These are the pictures. Right, so which pictures do I still need? I need, still need a birdie on a rock, and I need the sunset at the beach. Or something like that. This is all texts, and this is the places where I have been so far. Okay, cool, cool. Let's uh, put on some music for Chloe. Or actually, let's uh, snoop around the house. Oh, ah, right, a little bit rusty on the controls. Oregon Coast. This postcard is from Rachel Amber. Ah, miss you, heart, heart. Wish you were here, Rach. That's interesting. She has a postcard from Rachel Amber. So they were friends, probably. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. And that probably explains why she has blue hair now as well. Just because she loves blue. We had such a blast drawing these together. Aww, with Chloe and Max. She is a killer. Starring Kitty Cat and... <laughs> oh, great. The Power Girls, Chloe and Max. <laughs> yes, that is amazing. Oh, that's great. That's It's so... Awesome to have a friend like that. I've never drawn with my friends. I cannot draw anyway. Old cardboard boxes. Right, so let's search it. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> we can fix that. Da, 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 da. There we go. Can I? Old cardboard boxes. Right, she doesn't say anything about it anymore. Let's not look in that then. Let's this search looks this. like a laundry bag. Oh, let's search the laundry bag. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. <laughs> uh, figures. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Really? 
Oh, that's really cool. You should have built a tree house. Tree houses are super secret and really fun. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Aw. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. It's a great style, though. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Why did you scratch it? It suck. It's not really... Why did she scratch through it? And when did she do that? Illuminati. Again. They're everywhere. So, what else? We've got some paper. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Arcadia, let's, let's read it. It's more estimate auto repair. Chloe price. Uh, 3006 dot two dollars. Jeez. That's harsh. Poster. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Whatever you say, Max. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. So, why is it here now? I wonder Pictures. what Chloe keeps in here. Well, we can just always take a look, right? Not like she minds. Look at that. Aww. Chloe and her dad were so close. That's so sweet. Is that Chloe? She really changed. It's a kitty cat. That's so sweet. I'm sorry your dad died, Chloe. There's the power strip. Right, so I have to turn it on. To, 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 to get some music or something. It won't play without any power. Right, but we're gonna do that after we've seen everything. Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop. Or can we? She looks super happy. <laughs> she looks oh. super sad. What? I mean, come on, happy, sad? She looks super stoned. <laughs> All the emotions in one go. Oh, great. That's amazing. It's, uh... Come on, I wanna... Yeah. Let's take a look at this. Is this a desk or a storage space? Well, my desk is full of clutter as well. I think this junk swallowed her desks. No? Nothing? Oh well. Do we have a poster here again? So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Exactly. Chloe was busy with finding Rachel Amber, so they're probably really... or used to be really good friends. We used to dare each other to climb down. But never did. Uh, no, I would not advise to do that. Now, maybe she has done it in the meantime that you were gone, Max. Chloe's trash overfloweth. Not keeping track of your best friends. How dare you? How dare you, Max Caulfield? Max Caulfield, how dare you? Uh, search in the trash bin. Bin. Who does think Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Yes, she does. He really has become a rebel. Rebel towards society. Okay, Chloe. A metal box under the bed equals secret. You don't mind, do you? I'm just taking a disc just like that because I want to? That's harsh. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, give me that. Sorry. I wasn't trying to be nosy. Right. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. Dang. That's Rachel Amber. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Right. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Mm. Rachel saved my life. I'm sorry, Chloe. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel yeah. had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. <laughs> she looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. Cool. So what happened? What about your mom? I see why. So what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel mm. the love. Now, 
When did Rachel actually disappear? Right. Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. That's odd. How do you know? How, yeah, how do you know? How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Oh, that's I harsh. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't Ooh. heard anything from her since? Like everybody that's in my life. That's not good. My dad, you, and Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? I'm sorry, Chloe. Max, you're a bitch. How dare you? Keep in touch with your friends. Really? Can you not see what kind of hell you put her through? Hmm? Yeah, look away. Look away, just like that. I'm, I'm, I'm mad at you right now. I'm pointing the finger. I'm pointing the finger. Let's take a look. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. There's nothing. It's beer. There's nothing. There, there isn't any junk about beer. Well, unless they are empty bottles. They're probably empty bottles. Never mind. So we've seen everything. Let's uh, hook up the power. Power strip. Switch on. There we go. Ah, oh, pretty. The CD is still, or DVD, whatever it is, is still right up there. So let's just put a CD in. Right. What kind of music do you like? Oh, that's nice. Anyway. You can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe. Thanks. Are you okay? No. Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Okay. I can't sleep. <laughs> can I? Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. Mm. Can you let me chillax for a bit? Alone? The tools are still downstairs. Okay, okay. I'm not against smoking. I mean, people should do whatever they like. I'm, I'm, I'm just not a smoker, and I do not like to be near people when they smoke. I mean, you should always ask, you know, if you are smoking, you should always ask, do you mind if I put up a cigarette? Because, I don't know, I just do not like the smell. I just really don't. It's oh, own personal choice, dark. though. I cannot see anything. Then we do the light switch. I mean, how hard can it be, man? This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Animal products? Is that still a thing? Really? Oh, jeez. Care for the world, people. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. Aw. Hair dye. You should get... Put up that blue hair as well, Max. It would suit you beautifully, I can already tell. <laughs> that would be great. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Fluoxetine tablets. Tablets. A hundred tablets. Pharmacist, please dispense with medication guide. Yeah, but what is it? Does it say... It says, well, fluoxetine. But I do not know what it is for. I can imagine depression, seeing all the things Chloe has gone through. So, cabinet, we've... Uh, yeah, okay, we've seen everything in the bathroom. Two, 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 two. I cannot go in there. Wrong way. <laughs> That's Chloe's. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe, but here I am. Is it a quote from a famous person? I like it. Arcadia Bay. Great. Let's open the door. Let me bust in on the adults. <laughs> you should knock first, Chloe. This must be Aww. Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Birdie! Birdie? Are you okay? Little birdie. Oh shit. Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Right. Go further back. Go further back. Okay, wait. Oh, now I can open it? Right, because I'm still here. Oh, that's cool. 
Where are you? There you are. Hello, little birdie. You oh, you're so pretty. Birdie. Fly, be free. Yay! I'm gonna go back because I think I've also, by accident, removed something that I did in the bathroom. Why did I not move position? That is actually really interesting as well. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. Right. I hope she's okay. Just to make sure I'm going through all these things again. I like so, let's go back into this room. It is the birds, but... Oh, right, I cannot take a photograph yet because my photography thing is broken. Oh, that sucks. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Oh. Hmm. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Uh, with William and Chloe, because Chloe is in the belly. That's so nice. That's so nice to remember that she remembers her husband, but it really makes me curious what kind of person Act, the new react, dad is then. Die, a 21st Stepdad. century survival guide. Whoa, apocalypse self-help. <laughs> Woo! Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. And who was David Madsen again? Can I see that here? That's Rachel. Oh, I can now read about Rachel. That's cool. That's for the next episode. Um, maybe I should close the window again and the birdie stays in there so I can take a picture. I'm just gonna do that. There we go. <laughs> that's, that's so not nice. Joy still works at the diner. And... Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is... Oh, wait, 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 wait a moment. Are you in here? David? Is David the stepdad of Chloe? Oh, shite. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> switch on, switch off. Yeah, all right. Uh-oh. The prices are late on their bills. Pass due. They have some serious problems concerning money, at least. Joyce looks happy. Yeah. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. So this is the security guard. Uh, okay, good to know. Am I going to run into him in this house right now after I blared into his face? These books have not been Joyce. since the last decade. I see why. Really? Why do you see that? Nothing's changed. Except for me and Chloe. Mm. Oh, Max. Oh, Max. Let's go downstairs and see what we can find. Here we are. But that looks like he is home. Wherever he might be. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. No, still all... Bills and all pass due. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Well, then that's not going to work, is it? Now this is the Chloe I remember. <laughs> Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Skater girl. I just say what really nice pictures, to be honest. Even though they're drawn. I keep saying that. Oh. That's something from Kate. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem, that guy is an asshole. <laughs> that guy is probably the stepfather of Chloe. Oh, jeez. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I was afraid uh, the sound might wake up. Uh... He, he must be here somewhere. He must Boy be. He still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. Oh, yeah. I better get one soon. Oh, yes, you should. Two Wales Diner. Cereal milk, peanut butter, chocolate cake, oil bananas, and toilet paper. Especially the toilet paper is apparently very important. You're probably in the garage then, I think. Sliding door so I can go outside. Ah, I'm not going to go outside yet. Magazines! Woo! Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Food cart monthly. Mm -hmm. Stain. 
Hey, what is so I remember that stain? Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. <laughs> and it's still here after five years. They haven't redone the carpet or anything. <laughs> oh, great. But of course they cannot do the re-carpet, Chameleon. Of course they cannot. Their other bills are overdue. They have money if problems. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Is that a stepdad as well? Oh, I, 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 I still do not like the guy. I mean, come on, man. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. <laughs> Looks like uh, a ship wreck now. That's why she's still. That's why you called her a pirate, all right. I guess they're aging these books. I guess so. Some prizes. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Right. Well, you're not here. Trophy. Really? Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. Well, I must admit, if you find an animal and it is already dead, then I do not have problems with stuffing it to display it. To some extent, at least. But shooting it yourself? That's just cruel and harsh. There's no need for that. I wonder what's in those files up there. Well, let's take a look. Because we already are so nosy. Shit. Butterfingers! Wait, 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 wait. We can look at the picture. Kate so Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Yes, I agree. That seems to be Chloe over there. Please have the PM Blackwell Academy parking. What? This is this really is odd, but let's rewind this. Because I do not want to get busted. At least I have the information now. I don't want to look at these creepy photos again. Right. Why does David have them? And I cannot be busted. He does not even he does not know that I've seen them. Which is good. It's food. I mean, what else? Let's take a look at the this laptop. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. Well, let's use it. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. David Madsen locked. Enter password. Not David. Unlock. Can I unlock it? No? Oh, too bad. Tools. So those are the tools that I might need. Let's search a little bit more. Maybe I should go outside of the garden first. What? Opening the cupboards will have consequences? Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Placement of cameras. That's where they want to place the cameras. Or are they already there? Is that what is going on? Maybe. Can close it again. Let's take a look. Should I switch this on? Decision. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? Oh this dear. This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? I do not know. That's not good. Why can I not move? There we go. Let's uh, rewind it. How can I go... Oh, that's the wrong button. How can I go faster again? Control? That's not really a lot faster. I do not remember. I'm pressing control, but it's not really going any faster. Wait. Isn't there more? There we go. Shift. Right, so now it's closed. But I wonder now, if I go to tap, does it say... Doesn't say... It doesn't say... I do, want, I do want to have that information. If I open it again, do I get the consequences thing again? Yes, I do. This will have consequences. No, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm going to rewind until the point that they do not know that I have looked in there. Right. Oh, almost. There we go. Because I think that I do have the information now. I know this. I mean, Max knows what is happening. Yes, score. Uh, why? <laughs> Bullseye? It seems like a gun and not like darts. This makes me worry. There, see? Hmm. 
One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. I do not hope that as well. Let's open the drawer. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. See? He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Well, you already have cameras all around the house. This is already disturbing enough. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. I already told you so. Oh, great. And he was in the army as well. It's the, these things are getting better and better. Oh, jeez. What have I put Max up against? I've got a shelf over here that I haven't searched yet. Nothing. This is so lame. Oh, I mean, the tools are right there. That's there. Right, 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 right here. But I'm going to go to the garden. Can I go to the left here first? I've already been there. Oh, answering machine. I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. I love being nosy. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. You ordered I'm your serious. stepdaughter. Really? You fucking prick. You cannot do that. Might as well uh, turn the TV off, by the way. Nobody needs to know that I'm here. Except for Chloe. Ooh, there's a jar. I'm still missing things, apparently. <gasps> Travel money. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Oh. These poor people. Life is hard. Life is hard and life is harsh. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. Mm, autumn is great. I love autumn. Will All the colors. Used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. I really don't know. I do not know when it has been used. Grave? We made this Bongo. grave for Chloe's kitty. Oh. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. No, not the car. <sighs> Poor cats. That took wow. Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. But it's still here after five years. I mean, how cool is that? Chloe clearly never forgot you, Max. That's a great friend to have. The swing. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. Really? Well, that's so nice. Her father must have been so nice. Why are the nicest people always... Why? Okay, let's go inside. Let's go grab the toolkit. Let's get out the very specific tiny tools. There you are, you little buggers. Tools. These are way too big. Oh. I need tiny tools for that camera. Okay. But... Did I not search everything yet, then? All right, I didn't went. Uh, I haven't gone in here. I've only seen the trophy. This is the car. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Apparently, he is. Still building on it. That's cool. That's a cool project. Anything else? There's food, like Look a lot of that food. food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Exactly. They are preparing for the end of the world. At least they have food. Then Chloe's stepdad will protect this house with his life. It will be a fortress. It will be their fortress. And they will make a stand until the end of days. And now I'm going to open this door. Cool. Now it's opened. Well, that's great. But I cannot find the tiny tools. Maybe no maybe Chloe... There now. Oh. I wanted to say maybe Chloe can help me out. Where are the very specific tiny tools? Why can I not find them? <laughs> Ooh, there it is. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. <laughs> that does not look stable. Well, that seems like the thing you want then. There we go. Oh, great. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. 
Uh, maybe I can. I can. There we go. Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Let's use that. That's like a little puzzle game. I like that. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Oh. Okay, I get it. Come on, I'm pressing Swift. Swift? Shift. Yeah, further back, further back. There we go. Now, let's push the cardboard under there. Yep. Go back. Turn on the washing machine. Then it's shaking down. Woohoo! On the cardboard. Yeah, I can do this. Turn off the washing machine because it's noisy. And then pull out the cardboard. Yes, Woo! you have mad skills, Max. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do indeed. So now what? Oh, I should go back upstairs and repair my camera. Well, let's do tools. that. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Ah, oh, relax, Max. Chloe's just chilling. There we go. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Woo! Really glad to be back. There's not really much going on yet, though the story is folding... Well, I would say folding in instead of folding out. I mean, everything is fitting together. Like how the stepdad of Chloe, well, who Chloe is in the first place, who Rachel Amber is in the first place. And apparently the stepdad of Chloe is the security guard who also used to be in army. And I've, I've stood up against him. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Episode 1 seems almost to a close now. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode of me playing Life is Strange, give it a thumbs up and then... I will see you in my next video. Hey, they're gone. I think they're children. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> no fair! You pushed me. That's Tommy and Sarah. Did not. Whatever! You get the boring two notes anyway!